Hello, this is Pastor Gene Kim from Bible Baptist Church. So I am very, very excited. And some of you are probably wondering what would get you so stirred up that you want to post a video about it. Well, one of them you can guess and one of them might be a surprise for you. So one, as many of you don't know about, there is a book for women and it is written by Kirsten Lawler. It's called Rebecca's Way. I will post the link below, but she's a member from my church and it's a fictionalized account of Rebecca's life going into possibilities of what she may have went through in her life. So um, I know that Bible believers, they're very doctrinally minded. So what I would like to ask is just simply enjoy the book as a work of fiction rather than uh, seeing it in a doctrinal manner. It's intended for your enjoyment, but also intended where you can find interesting stuff and possibilities about certain encounters, situations, and characters in the Bible that people never thought of before. So when you read this book, you're going to appreciate Rebecca's story and life in a different way. There were some things that I was able to see that I never thought of before, and I could perhaps even use if I teach on Rebecca next time. So that's what the book's intention is, is to create a fictionalized account, but also stir up your interest on some possibilities that you may never have thought of before in Rebecca's life. The second thing, which uh, you all would know about, is concerning Campaigns for Christ. So Campaigns for Christ, for some of you who don't know, that is a extremely important work where literally hundreds are getting saved. Now, I know that a lot of you watching me might appreciate the materials we put out where many souls are getting saved going to Bible-believing churches. But to be more honest, Campaigns for Christ is a far more effective and better tool than my internet. Campaigns for Christ is literally where they send out people from different Bible-believing churches where they team up together, go to one mission field, and just spread out gospel materials like crazy, soul win like crazy, get them all to attend the meeting, and then souls get saved, and then people do end up in those Bible-believing churches in the foreign countries. So that's far better than my video where people get, can just simply click and there's no guarantee if the person would be willing to get off from his or her seat and go to church. As you might know, if you're stuck in an internet all day long, that's not usually the case. So this foreign mission uh, field, this is so active, it's more active and it's more outgoing compared to the internet, which is more secluded, isolated. So I'm not just, I'm not downing, I'm not making people feel bad who found Bible believing truth through our internet, which is good, but I wanna recommend Campaigns for Christ. It is a far better tool and option. And you can be a part of that. You can support that. It is such a f far more effective ministry than ours, to be honest. So I would actually uh, recommend people who would support that ministry more than ours. I wouldn't say that if I don't realize this is extremely important. So I wouldn't urge that unless I believe it is really effective, it is really successful, and God's hand is on it. I'll show you a video from Campaigns for Christ that will give you a more burden for this ministry. And please click on the link below for Campaigns for Christ. They need more people, more applicants for the Mexico missions trip. If you can sign up for that, that'd be appreciated. Um, if not, provide the monetary support or prayers or anything that you can do, and we would sure appreciate that. Hey, God bless you guys. That's Those are the two things that I'm very excited about, and I want to leave one last surprise before I play this video. I have a huge, big thing from our internet ministry that's going to blow your guys' minds away. It'll be something that uh, nobody has ever had, I think, to my knowledge. So I will announce that very soon. So as a matter of fact, it's three big surprises. But anyway, watch this video. Hope you get a blessing from Campaigns for Christ and you get a burden for souls. These souls need people who will minister to them the gospel. 
Campaigns for Christ acknowledges Mark 16:15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, as a direct command from our Lord to not only present the clear gospel to our communities, but also to other countries. This also includes God's precious words to be received in the hands of those we encounter. The burden of campaigns to Christ is to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins, which can only be done by the grace of God and those he uses to distribute the mass quantities of his word with an invitation to attend an evangelistic meeting near them. Recent campaigns have been held in Mexico, Malawi, Africa, and Brazil. With the billions of souls in this world who live their lives having no hope and without God in this world, we've come to realize the need of utilizing more aggressive methods while there is still time. To accomplish this, Campaigns for Christ has six main objectives. To coordinate with a missionary or national pastor to host a scripture distribution campaign. Bring a team of 18 to 25 people from Baptist churches in the U.S. and Canada to the city that is hosting the campaign. There, we will distribute tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands, customized John and Roman scriptures, along with an invitation to attend an evangelistic meeting. We encourage the host Ding Church and missionaries or pastors as we work alongside them in distributing the Word of God daily. Help establish a new local church or strengthen the existing one. Help finance, follow up, and organize discipleship training. In some cases, assist in the training of national pastors. Help the campaign team members to have a renewed vision for missions and for reaching the lost in their very own hometowns. The Campaigns for Christ Ministries will strive to ensure that these mission trips are as effective as possible in order to reach as many lost souls while we still have the time. All hotel arrangements, meals, and transportation from a U.S. departure point are arranged and coordinated by the CFC staff and are included in the price. We want to equip the campaign team members to have a very productive and fruitful experience where they can focus on doing God's work without the distractions of their daily routines. Our desire is that they will return home with a renewed, God-centered, selfless focus to serve within their local church. During our three most recent campaigns in Malawi, Africa, we were able to distribute a total of 570,000 John and Roman scriptures, and over 10,000 souls came to hear a clear presentation of the gospel. Several hundred received the Lord as their Savior and signed up for the 12-week discipleship course. Decision. If you believe that God will save you, please come forward. These are for the men. Those chairs are for the women. I want to know that God will save you. I want to know that God will save you. I want to know that God will save you. I want to know that God will save you. I want to know that God will save you. I want to know that God will save you. Azimai mupita mbali ya uko. Azimu na muta ubera haba. Utuko manaine. Nda kuzika di ufuna nita puru musidwa. Musaone nzanu musakakamize. Kuma mbangeji sangu kuzoki na pasi. Over the years, we have seen thousands of lives which have been eternally impacted for the glory of God through scripture distribution campaigns. It may be common for some Christians to feel it is the duty of mission boards and missionaries to reach the lost in other countries. However, this is truly the responsibility of all Christians. The Great Commission is not specific to a select group. It is specific to all Christians. We all have the duty and responsibility to reach the lost for our Lord Jesus Christ. The Campaigns for Christ Ministries' primary focus is to provide that opportunity on a large scale in a foreign country. Will you consider setting aside 10 to 14 days of your time to join us or to support us regularly with your prayers or finances? How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher?
My name is Seth Townsend. I'm from Bible Believers Baptist Church in Portland, Oregon. I'm Pastor Ryan Gunther, Victory Baptist Church from Heartland, Michigan. Yep. My name is Raymond Blue. I just thank God that I was saved many years ago, 73 years old. Hi, my name is Chad Reese. I'm the pastor at Lighthouse Baptist Church in Lincoln Park, Michigan. My name is Jonathan Hazard. Um, I'm just really blessed to be a part of these campaigns. My name is Alex Mwenegifungwe. Uh, we thank you, you guys, because of the campaign of forecast. My name is Kyle Stevens. I'm the pastor of Blessed Hope Baptist Church. My name is Tara Dare. I'm here with Campaigns for Christ. I'm from Pensacola, Florida at Bible Baptist Church. My name is Joe Stevens. I am from Denver, Colorado, New Heights Baptist Church. Hi, my name is DJ Doherty. I'm with Lighthouse Baptist Church in Lincoln Park, Michigan. Hi, my name is Daniel Nirenda. I'm, the, I'm a pastor for Charity Baptist Church. My name is Peter Kaiser. I'm from Lighthouse Baptist Church, Lincoln Park, Michigan. My name is Alyssa Moore. I'm from um, Bible Baptist uh, in Pensacola, Florida. I'm just, just blessed to be here in Africa, Lord, with uh, with the Campaign for Christ. It's just an honor and a privilege to to be with these folks here, Lord. And I just, you know, I just thank you, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you just keep your hand on Campaign for Christ. And by the end of the week, we'll be giving out over 300,000 John and Romans and tracks. It's a great blessing to serve alongside fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, the Lord really blessed me. I had a lot of reservations and fears um, leading up to the trip, but praise the Lord. Brother Darling let me in last minute. Um, Jesus Christ, he saved me um, eight years ago. I, I, I was hopeless. I was a sinner and needed a savior. I was a drug addict. I'm also happy that in this campaign we had people who have dis whom we were discipling in Lilongwe, who have actually come along with us to actually work with us and see uh, the, the impact of the campaigns and they are excited, they're going back home. Could ever get free to go, uh, to spend the money to go, you'll not see anything like this as far as we know in the United States of America. And so we very much uh, appreciate the, the campaigns, all the work that uh, Pastor and Missionary David Robinson's doing. They even had said, um, don't even come down if you're not convicted. And yet you, we had hundreds and hundreds come down just to get saved. It's nothing like I've ever experienced to see a couple hundred people run to an altar and want to get saved and want to have a church put in their village. They're asking for churches. My name is David Robinson and uh, this message goes out to individuals and pastors all over the United States and all over the world who may be considering supporting the Ministry of Campaigns for Christ. As a missionary, uh, I've labored in this country for over 15 years. The Lord has helped us in so many ways, um, enabled us to start churches, discipleship groups, obviously lots of soul winning. And these are the, the, the works that we labor in on a daily basis. Um, but from the standpoint of a missionary who has been here, done that, labored and worked in this country, I've never seen anything as powerful as bringing in these campaigns to come and just strengthen our hands in the work to help us and to push the ministries along and if they're conducted right i would encourage missionaries all over the world to consider contacting brother darling finding out how you can arrange a mission a missions trip to your country uh, and if you're a pastor and you're looking to support a ministry that's going to actually have a real impact uh, have an actual, be a real help uh, to ministries around the world, I really would encourage you to consider sending people from your church on a campaign, send support on a monthly basis if you possibly can. Uh, it's an investment, it's a great investment in what the Lord's doing around the world. This is the third uh, campaign that we've done here and we have just seen so much fruit. Not only the, the souls won, not only over half a million scriptures, uh, given out around the country, uh, but beyond that, the fellowship and the preaching, we have preaching every morning, uh, just the, the amazing uh, fellow times of fellowship. It's just like a, a, a miniature just revival. And uh, it's such a blessing to our family, it's such a blessing to the, the work here. And I would highly, highly encourage you to consider supporting Campaigns for Christ. Hi, I'm Dave Darling, director of the Campaign to Christ, and we're just uh, finishing up our third evangelistic campaign here in Malawi, Africa. And there's, by due to the prayers of all the people back home, it was a tremendous success. We handed out all our 227,000 
John and Romans and over 70,000 gospel tracts. So I'm just really thankful for all the people back home praying, for all the people that support uh, in, in financially the campaign to Christ. And I urge you, uh, if you're sitting there at home and want to come to a place where you can stand with boxes of scripture and have, I've had not even five people refuse the gospel of uh, 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 John and Romans this week in the whole week. So if you want to come and get a lot of scripture out, uh, I'd love to have you come. Uh, thank you.